Well, the red squirrel is our native squirrel. I mean, the grey squirrel shouldn't be here. It was introduced 125 years ago from North America. And uh, unfortunately, the, the, ever since the grey squirrel has been here, the red squirrel has been in decline. And so, because they are rare, very rare indeed in the south, we thought that would be a wonderful emblem as our, our logo, if you like. So that's why we chose the red squirrel. They're such iconic little creatures. It's Beatrix Potter's squirrel nutkin. A red squirrel is a delicate little creature and it evolved through time to live on the seeds from pine cones. So that's why you find them up in the pine forests. Living in deciduous woodland, which is what this is, deciduous woodland, uh, it's much more difficult for them because they are selective feeders. And in the winter time, they have to rely on stored hazelnuts and beech nuts and things like that. They cannot eat acorns. Grey squirrels can live on acorns. Red squirrels, they can't digest them. They can eat them, but they can't digest them. They don't have the enzyme in their gut which digests them, so it's wasted. Uh, well, this is a little red squirrel, which I'm currently looking after, currently rearing. Um, it was found abandoned by its mother, so we're taking it away to hopefully see it through and, and look after it. Mm -hmm. Right, sleeves not very steady on sleeves, yet, are you? They're a bit baggy. Well, with the red squirrels we have to check them every day, make sure they're okay. We have to feed them obviously, make sure they have their water, any medication they need for that day as well. And, and just make sure they're generally healthy and happy. Going crazy. Yeah. If we don't do anything to help, then they probably will go extinct from the mainland of this country within 20 years or so. I mean, hopefully we'd still have them on the islands, and hopefully again we'd still have them in the reserves where we're looking after them and we're, we're doing as much as we can to control the grey squirrels. But for truly wild ones, then there's not much hope at the moment unless something can be thought of to stop the effect and the spread of the grey squirrels.